Hey guys, it's Megan is Majar, and I'm back with another video. Um, I got a request on Instagram to do a video of all the stuff that I use, um, like sketchbooks and um, drawing supplies and stuff, to, uh, you know, stuff that I use to create what I create. And so I thought I'd just share some of that stuff with you guys because I got requested to. Um, and I will recommend some things and not recommend some things. So anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I have that I use, um, I don't use them like all the time, but I use them quite often, um, are the Copic markers or Copic, however you, however you pronounce it. I call it Copic. Um, um, yes, Copic. And, um... These sketch markers are just the same as the chow markers, except the chow markers are more for kind of beginners because they have a little less ink in them. So, you know, you could just have something to start out with and see if you like them and stuff. Um, I do believe they're a little bit cheaper too. Um, so, Copics can be expensive, but I believe they're worth it if you like using markers and like, I honestly had not used very many markers before. Um, but now I've really, I've really gotten into like a nif different style of cartoons. And so I've kind of, um, kind of gotten used to markers. So I will show you the markers that I have. So this is my case. I recently had a birthday, so I got this case and a ton of different Copics. Most of these I got for my birthday. I had the Skin Tones and Perfect Primary set, and then I got these three sets and another set. Um, I got a set of um, blue. Uh, it was the Sea and Sky set. Oh wait, that's what this one is. Never mind. This the, this is the Skin Tone set. Um, so I got the Sea and Sky. Um, the sketching grays and the pale pastels and so um, I also got I bought myself some chow markers um, so I have the rainbow sketching the rainbow doodling chow ones um, so this is my case and you open it up you have all of these colors these are all the ones that I have and I have some jelly roll pens here because I love to use these I have like a copper color gold color, a white, which is my favorite, and a silver. I use those for detail sometimes. I have three multi-liner pens, which are also from the brand Copic. Um, this one is a 0 0.5 liner, and it's, um, yeah, water and Copic proof pigment ink, and they're, they're really nice. I love them. <laughs> um, and I have 0 0.3, and this is a blue marker, um, which is kind of nice. It's called cobalt. It's kind of nice to outline cool colored things in that. And then this is just a thinner black one, which is also 0 0.3. Um, let me just adjust my light real quick. Ugh, there we go. Hope that's better. Um, okay, so we've got that. Then we have these chow markers, which are the ones I was talking about. Um, they're the same. They have a brush tip and a chisel tip, just like the um, sketch markers, which I never use the chisel tip personally, uh, sometimes for lettering, but really that's it. Um, and the rainbow sketch, the rainbow doodling set came with some really pretty colors, so I really like that. Um, these are the sketching grays, and I have a, um, Prismacolor Premier black marker in here because I didn't have enough money for a black Copic individual at the time that I bought that. Um, and that's just a few bucks cheaper, so um, yeah. And so these are my sketching grays. The ones I use the most are the last two, which are really light, so they're really good for like shading um, things that are supposed to be white. Um, so, you know. And then I have all of these blues and two violet colors. Um, I really love this. Um, this color, bronze. I don't know why it's called bronze. Doesn't make any sense to me, but it's like a really dark, um, it's BG78. So it's a really dark um, 
bluish green, but I really like it because it's, you know, it's it's really dark, but it's it's really pretty. Um, and I'll show you some examples of that on paper too. Um, some examples of some of these. Um, and then these are my skin tones here. And this one, the R20 blush color came with the skin tone set. I just have it with away from them because I have them arranged in color order. I have some yellows here. And that's pretty much all of my Copics. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is a poster I've been working on in my art class at school. And I've been doing, um, my theme was superheroes. And so I've been using my Copic markers for these. And I don't know how well you can see, but these are the colors. And um, yeah, I used some of the uh, BG78 in Superman suit here, as you can see. And uh, in some of um, Green Arrow's suit, his hood. And of course in the Hulk because he's very green. Um, so I love that color. So there's that, and I have one other example. This is a commission that I've been working on of Wonder Woman, and I just finished the background recently. And um, yeah, I did it in Copic Marker and added some Jelly Roll for kind of a cloud effect. Took me a while, I started out with like yellows and everything you can see in the background, and then I did oranges and then greens and then blues and purples on top of it and it finally got kind of the look I wanted. Um, it doesn't really look like sky and clouds but I still really like the way it looks. These markers, I haven't used them that much uh, recently but I used to use them a lot and I use them in a lot of drawings. Um, and these are Tombow markers. They are watercolor um, brush markers. And uh, focus, please. There we go. And they have numbers on them, just like Copic markers. They have a brush tip, and but they also they're dual tipped. They have a little bullet tip for like outlining and stuff. So I really like them. They're really fun to color with, and I have a ton of different colors. And they have colorless blenders too. So that's great. And I'll probably show you some examples of things I've colored with those. I have a lot of different sketchbooks that I use and drawing notebooks and things. Um, I'm gonna start out with ones that I just recently got and I haven't really used them much, but I know I will. So I still recommend them to you guys. This one is Tracing um, Strathmore. It's good for, you know, for like pastel work and um, yeah. <laughs> Um, that's really all I have to say about that. This next one is Strathmore Bristol paper. And I've used a few pages out of this. Um, and it's just nice, nice, really smooth paper. It is really smooth. And um, it's really nice for markers. It's what I used um, for the commission. And it's really smooth. It would be great for colored pencils, um, markers, you know, pretty much anything, honestly. Um, it's really smooth, as I keep saying. It's amazing, I love it. Just plain drawing paper. And it's 50 sheets, it's, um, these all three are the 300 series, by the way. This is just really nice, um, not super thick, but not super thin drawing paper. Haven't used it yet. I know I will be using it a lot for colored pencil. <laughs> As you can see, I love Strathmore. Um, so these um, are the toned papers. These are um, toned tan and um, toned gray paper. And I use it for colored pencils, sometimes marker. Um, this is an example of Tombow marker. Um, the color in the back of all the jelly roll is a uh, Tombow marker. I did some on the wings and then added colored pencil all over it. Um, but yeah, I used Tombow marker on this one and I did it on the tan tone paper because colored pencils work really well on that. So I bet you're asking with all of this paper and um, colored pencil drawings and everything, what do you use to color with? Well, I use um, Prims Ugh, I never say it right. Prismacolor Premier um, colored pencils and they are the soft core, um, they're smooth, rich, 
well, it says on here, smooth, rich color lay down. And I, look, there's none in there. <laughs> That's only because I took them out of the tin because in the trays, they were kind of annoying me. But I put them into these pencil pieces because I like to have them organized. Um, these are warm colors in the pink bin. In the blue, of course, are cool colors, which I have a lot of. And in the gray, of course, are all of my neutral colors. So it's all organized so that I can get what I want when I want it, and they're really, really good quality. They can be expensive, but it's a lot cheaper to color in colored pencil than it is to color in topics. So, um, so here are some colorless blenders that I like to use for colored pencil mainly, but you could use them for marker too. Um, Touch Colorless Blender, Pr Prismacolor Premier Colorless Blender. This one I like the best. It's a Prismacolor um, Colorless Blender Pencil, and it's really nice, I love it. Um, I almost forgot to mention that these here can be really useful in like picking which pose you want to do a drawing in. Um, I have two different sizes, um, because I've just gotten two different sizes um, as gifts. And yeah, they can be useful depending on what you're drawing. I honestly don't use them that much, but they might be useful to you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy these little snippets of videos that are soon to come on my channel. Thank you guys for watching again, and see you in the next one. Bye!